guys welcome to my new video and in this video we will see what virtual tables are and uh, before going to that uh, we must know what uh, runtime polymorphism is so to explain runtime polymorphism i would say that if you want to call a particular function of a derived class from the base class then we use this uh, runtime polymorphism concept so uh, let us take an example so we have this base class and it has two functions f1 and f2 both of these functions are virtual functions all right and we have uh, these two derived classes d1 and d2 so d1 overrides the uh, virtual function 1 and d2 overrides the virtual function 2 and in the main we have this object of d1 class and base pointer dptr so it is been assigned to the uh, at this uh, object address is copied and then we are pointing to this uh, we are calling this f1 function so this happens at the run time all right so this is called late binding so when the uh, compiler compiles this code it doesn't know which uh, function to join this call all right it doesn't know whether the function is from base uh, class or whether it is from the derived class so this thing happens at the run time so that's the reason it is called as run time polymorphism all right so let us execute this and see what output it gives so d1s f1 okay so let us see how this is working so i have this diagram right so we have this base class so what the compiler does whenever it sees a virtual function in a class it creates a separate table called as v table or virtual table and this table contains the address of the functions along with this it has a pointer called as vptr so what this pointer does it points to this oh, sorry sorry for this it points to this virtual base class this pointer all right so what happens next is this even class inherits this base class so along with the functions it in inherits this pointer as well all right so it has this vptr and it declares its own uh, this function overrides this f1 function so it so again it this is the virtual function so a separate v table is created for this class all right now what happens is this vptr is been inherited from base class so it was pointing to these two functions now we have our own f1 function so this t1 v v table will have address of this v1 function all right so it will have f1 of this d1 and f2 of the previous class which was this base class so this will point to oh sorry for this key and what i can do is okay and again it is pointing to this this f2 all right similarly in d2 class we have uh, written f2 again it is a virtual function so a separate v table is created for it and we have this inherited vptr as well so this points to the first uh, v f1 function of the base table because we have not overridden that function and it will have its own f2 so this d v table will contain the address of f2 all right so again we have this pointing to our first table first function sorry oh, so sorry
all right and these two will point to yeah, it will point to f1 and this will point to f2 so when we run this fun uh, function or this program so what it does we are assigning the base class object to the derived class object so the vptr of this derived class will point to its own f1 which we saw in the example again let us run this f1 now let us call f2 from this so you can guess what the output would be so it will call the base class classes f2 which doesn't ha have anything so let us run this then you can see there is no uh, method called so if you if you want to confirm it you can give see out here please base f2 all right so this is how it is uh, working so thanks for watching guys and uh, if you got something from this video do click on the like button share this video do subscribe and thanks for watching